We continue to target the violence tonight. Mobile police are focusing on mentoring our youth, hoping to cut down on crime. Kim Anderson is live at Bomara Randall Park on Duval Street. Kim? Greg, this was the first of four community events put on by the Mobile Police Department on engaging the community. There were a lot of vendors out here. There were a lot of people who came out here. It was a great a great turnout. It is 6 o'clock, Lewitt Pass, and you see that the event has ended. A lot of the booths have, have uh, been broken down and people are out, but it was an amazing event. And to talk about this event, we've got Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste, who's here with me tonight. Um, let's talk about why this was put on. What was the need? Well, our biggest reason for trying to put this event on is to let the community know that the city of Mobile is engaged from a public safety standpoint, from our parks and recreation to other community um, personnel that are just interested in trying to improve the, the status of our community right now. And so I, I think that today's event was really a great event for a first event like this. Uh, and I, I really believe that the impact of it will uh, give us some additional momentum as we move forward to trying to do other things. All right, now there was quite a bit of families out here. I mean, you talked about you think it's going to make a difference, um, but it's going to take some time, right? Yes, ma'am. I mean, obviously, you know, we spent three hours out here today, uh, and if we think that we've solved the problems that we have in our community in three hours, then we're sadly mistaken. But I really do believe that if, if we can keep the momentum going, if we can continue to do positive things in our community, give families positive outlets, positive outlets with the opportunity to find out about other things that they can do to gain get services and help uh, in their households, I think that we'll, uh, we'll, we'll turn the corner. It'll take a while, but we'll turn the corner. All right, thanks so much yes, for joining us now. Now, like I said, there was a big turnout here. Uh, a lot of people, though, who were here know someone who was affected or died from gun violence. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrenyak joins us now. Lisa, you talk to some of those folks. Yeah, that's right, Kim. People were here gathering all of the information and services they can get their hands on. Just heartbreaking for my family, you know, and you know, we, you know, we just try to make it day by day. That's Tracy Coleman. She lost her great nephew, Colin Clinton, last year. He accidentally shot himself uh, last year in November yeah, at the age of two. Two years too young. Now she's here with her grandchildren, making sure they're set up on the right path. And it's just sad, you know, so many young kids are losing their lives these days, you know, it's just heartbreaking. I live in R.B. Teller where the 11-year-old was killed two doors down. Mamie Thomas says they need all of the help they can get. It takes a village to raise all the children. I'm 70, I know. Thomas tells me it feels great to see everyone out here, but knows more needs to be done. Because, see, you don't live in the nightmare we live in. You wasn't there Monday when we had that shootout and trying to run and put all these children in cover to protect them. We felt just like those people fell in Texas. The only thing we was blessed, we didn't lose 19, we only lost one. There were also a number of people here doing so many good things, especially those acting as mentors for our, our children. We know that's a huge thing right now, and we need, know we need more mentors out there in our community here in Mobile. But overall, it was a great turnout. For now, Kim, I'll go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Lisa, thanks a lot. And like we said, this is just the first of many events. There's going to be another one coming up Thursday, June 23rd. That's going to be held at Village Green. We're going to have more on what happened out here today coming up a little bit later in this newscast. Greg?